Alright, this is my second video. I should have recorded all this with my other one. Uh, it's now 6.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, November 23rd, 2010. Brandon Mackey speaking. Uh, it's random notes. Uh, I want to make notes of how awesome Final Fantasy 13 is. It's a really cool game. I got it for the Xbox 360, of course, because that's the console I own. You know, I went my own in the PS3, but I am not a rich, wealthy type of guy, so yeah. I'm poor. It's okay. You know, I got it for my console, which is the Xbox 360. It's what I saved up for. You know? To afford it. Whereas I can't afford, like, multiple consoles. Nor do I, like, like buy games often. You know? Maybe I should just get a job. And I'm not a wealthy guy, so you know, I can't just like shell money out on games. You know, it's like video games like leave my hobby. And I, I really do like Final Fantasy. Like, I, it took me forever just to like get into an actual title due to the fact that I never owned like a PlayStation console. Even though I wanted to have a PlayStation console badly, I don't like something from Nintendo or or now currently Microsoft, like the Xbox. I don't know. You know, like I always wanted a PS3 or a P PS2, but end up getting like GameCube. Uh, I've learned to have liked the Nintendo 64 before I've learned to have liked the PlayStation. Con no, 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 no. I think I was like into like certain games on Nintendo 64, then on the PlayStation. You know, I mean, I I played the PlayStation when it was out tons of times with other people without owning one. Like if I knew them or affiliated with them, versus uh. You know, not like owning a console for myself, but yeah, like the Final Fantasy titles are only like exclusive content for like the PlayStation, you know, Sony stuff. So now that's on Xbox 360, I finally got like the opportunity for like playing a title, and it's just, like really, really great. It, it reminds you of like the whole Final Fantasy franchise in regards. That's that's what it is, Final Fantasy. You know, like the movies or the other games. I mean, I played some final, one Final Fantasy game, like on PC, I think, a while ago. I'm not sure if it's on PC. It was like a, a demo, demonstration game. Like in 98. It's like a, it was a, a demo that I had on a, uh, on a, a some Game Informer or Game Shark Disc or a PC game or something like that. So there's a, a preview of like Halo before it was even released. Before like there was a PS2 or an Xbox, you know. They, they were producing Halo at this time. And it was on this, this game content. Uh, it's video game magazines. Um, this feature rep thing, you know. It's pretty cool. It's at the time I had like my first computer called an E-Machines. My first personal computer. Like, you know, actual computer I owned instead of like using like the libraries or the school's computers which were basically Macs so I'm more used to those than like Microsoft based stuff okay I'm getting too many like Final Fantasy 13 is a really great game we got great music interesting storyline great visuals and unique creativity and art you know it's, it's pretty cool like wealthy I don't know my brain hurts alright I have to come up with notes of stuff I'm interested in. Alright, let's see. I have to finish my hypothetical Captain Logs fiction. See, now that YouTube is acting up, won't let me upload certain video files. Don't know why. Just said that in my last video. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've got like a new like video sharing account with this site called Vimeo. It's V I M E O. Yeah, so I'm using that. Yeah. Looks pretty simple. Looks like I can upload files that are like 20 minutes and whatnot. And sometimes my videos are 20 minutes. So I'm like, hey, I have to like divide them and whatnot. And, and Windows Movie Maker, I can just upload it. So I'll be alright. So, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So files, notes. I wonder what the F is out of North Korea. You know what? I, I don't even think I care. 
and I'm not sure if I should be afraid of this. Not not afraid of them doing stuff, but afraid of me not caring about this crap. Like, you know, that's none of my business. I wanna make that as if Earth is a lost compass. Right, I need to get the F out of here anyways, right? Like, I don't I don't I don't think I care about anything really. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I don't know why. You know, it's like, like you feel like a character from a movie and people like note this ahead of time. You just, just can't care about stuff. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's like a scene from a movie called Wanted, where the guy just happens to not give an F about anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like the Matrix Oracle scene, where it's, Neo doesn't give an F about any fake crap whatsoever, you know? Uh, you will learn that you don't care about any of these things. That's what it is. Like, wow. Maybe that's why they deliberately keep you stuck. Or making sure you acknowledge certain details at a specific time. Thus, you've wasted your hypothetical time. <laughs> not, not being aware of hypothetical details, right? I don't know. I don't know, I hope this doesn't lead to World War 3, it's something I don't support, and that has nothing to do with it, it's stuff I don't plan, you know? I'm not like a diabolical tyrant, or what not, I have no form of power. So, it's none of my effing business, as long as we're not getting involved in something, we have nothing to do with, I'm fine. But if we happen to get involved in this, I don't know, man. It makes you think about this 2012 clock. It seems factual. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe not factual, but who knows? I don't know what the f is going on here. I, just, I don't think I just care about anything. I don't know why I don't care about stuff. You know.